What's up everybody, this is the fourth here, and today I'm going to show you how to change the speed of your wobble bass inside your song. So I've made a pretty quick beat here, and I'll let you guys have a listen to that real quick. Okay, so it's not bad, but I want to change how fast the wobble is going during different parts of the progression. So the obvious way is to just go into your wobble bass, then change the LFO speed, and then make an automation clip of that. And then you can, you know, put the different points where you want. And all that good stuff. Now if you're actually um, trying to make a song, you'll probably want to be more precise with what you're doing. But I'm just doing that for display purposes. So I'm going to delete that and show you a different way I've found that you can do it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your mixer and find the insert with your wobble base, then put an XY controller on that. Okay, then in your wobble base you're going to want to go to the slowest wobble you think you're going to use in your song. So I'm just going to put it at um, I'll put it at two beats. Okay, so once you have it at what you think is going to be the longest one you're going to use, you copy the value paste it onto the XY on the level and then create an automation clip. Then you can delete that and also turn the speed on the XY controller all the way up just so it changes more rapidly. Okay, now back to Citrus. Put it at the next speed that you're going to use which I'm just going to do each speed as it clicks down to probably here. So one beat now then copy value, paste it onto the level and um, create automation clip. Then just keep doing that Okay, so now here, um, it goes straight from, uh, hang on, okay, so from here it goes straight from this speed to that speed, so a half note to a quarter note, but sometimes you're going to want to use um, triplets, and so that's in between these two. So what you're going to want to do is look over here while you're adjusting the speed and when it says 32 that's the speed you're going to want to use for triplets. So then copy, paste, automation clip. And I'm going to stop it at this speed because that's probably as fast as I'll use in this song. Um, copy value. Oh, and then you have to delete the automation clips because otherwise it'll just create an automation clip with the same value for some reason.
Okay, so now you have all your automation clips created, and you're going to do channels, add one, and layer. Now, I'll explain what I was doing before real quick. Before, I was um, pasting the different automation clips in the song when I wanted to use the different speeds. So, you know, it's like this. And, um, yeah, but I discovered that you can actually use a layer and then open up the layer, select all of your automation clips, and then set children. Then go to the layering options and do split children. So you see, if I play different keys on the layer, the XY controller value changes. Which is kind of cool. So then, the last thing you need to do is link this to a controller and choose the XY controller X value. So now when you change the layer, or change the speed of the X, Y controller, you are changing the wobble speeds. And then you can play it on your keyboard, which is what I'm doing right now. Or you can also go into the piano roll and put different values as the pattern goes on. So, Okay, so as you can see, I've put in the different keys in the layer and what you'll see is as I play this the wobble speeds are going to change as the different keys okay so that's about it with that and now I'm going to explain why I used the XY controller instead of just doing it right on the speed knob of the LFO. And the reason I did that is so if you delete everything else in this project, so preferably you'll do this in like an empty project and then you can save it and anytime you want to make a dubstep song you'll just open that up and then open your wobble bass that you want to use go into the right LFO and then you can just link that to a controller make sure it's the right one and then when it plays oops, when it plays You know, you can just use the layer to change its speed, and that's pretty quick. And then same thing if you wanted to change the bass in this song, so... Edit, cut... Oops, that's the wrong pattern. Um, edit, cut... Paste... And then the wobble should be the same since I linked this to the XY controller as well. So yeah, that's about that. hope it was helpful. Um, if you like the tutorial, subscribe. I'm going to be doing hopefully a lot more of these in the future. So yeah, cheers.